Assalamualaikum. Welcome to my channel. I am Asif Math Corner. Today we will learn about involution in group theory. What is involution? So let's start the lecture. Involution. Very easy definition it has. An element X of order 2 in a group G is called involution. An element X of order 2 in group G is called involution. As we learned in our last lecture, the Klein 4, the K4 group has non three non identity elements. Those have A square is equal to E. It means that A was involution, B square was equal to E. That means that B is was involution and C square was equal to identity element. It means that involution was C was also involution. It's it's mean it's also mean that any element which has its own inverse, that element is called involution. Let's understand it by uh, let's discuss a theorem about involution. Every group of even order has at least one involution. The statement is theorem should be understand. Every group of even order has at least one involution. You may say that any group contain four elements uh, from four one is identity element and the other three elements out of other three elements two elements may be inverse of each other one element remains that means that one element should be self inverse that element should uh, be the order of two and that is should be involution let's come to the proof let G be a group of order 2n. 2n means it is the even order. Even order of group. Uh, the elements of group may be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, up to so on. Let take two subgroups. Let A be the subgroup of G and B is be the subgroup of G. In A, X belongs to G and X square is equal to E. It means that a contain involution element. This x square is equal to E tells us that A contain an involution element. And in B, y square is not equal to E. This told us that B does not contain any involution element. So, then we have a union B is equal to G. Uh, these two sets make the complete G. And A intersection is equal to phi. It means that these two sets are disjoints. These are not overlapping set. These are disjoint sets. Disjoints mean the element of A and elements of B are totally different. No element is same in A and B. If B is empty set, is b is equal to phi then g is total is equal to a and we have learned that a a contain in when involution elements a contain in involution element x is x square is equal to e that means that g contain involution now if and now let be not equal to phi not empty set it contains some elements let y belongs to b so y is the element of b then uh, as uh, described earlier y square is not equal to e y and every element of b has no order 2 that uh, no involution element in b so y inverse has not equal to y it means that no element has its self inverse. But since y inverse square is not equal to e, 
because we know that the every element has the same order as its inverse has so inverse of element and in the element both have same order so if y square is equal is not equal to e then y inverse square is also not equal to identity element so y inverse also belongs to b as y belongs to b y should also y inverse should also belongs to b because y is uh, b is a subgroup let so each y belongs to b there exists y inverse because b is a subgroup so b can if b contain y then it should contain y inverse it contain the inverse of every element thus the number of elements in b is even since the order of g is also even so the order of g which is 2n even and order of b is also even this shows that order of a is also even so the number of elements in a is also even if the number of elements in a are even so e square is equal to identity element we know that always involution always is self inverse so e belongs to a this mean it has one element is identity it should have an other element a should have an other element because it is not equal to 5 so hence the order of a should be equal to 2 or greater than 2 it's mean 2 maybe 4 6 8 10 or other should be even thus a and also g contain an involution element because g g is equal to a plus b and b does not contain involution element but a contain involution element because in description of a we learned that x square is equal to e so it's mean that g and a both contain involution here the proofs ends subscribe my channel and share my video if you like it thank you so much